program launches three weeks from now. Now, with more flights opening up, Sarah Madison finds out what the health risks are to fly during a pandemic. Dr. Erlaine Bello, the hospital epidemiologist at the Queen's Medical Center, says there's the general risk of being around a lot of people in closed spaces. But that risk can be largely mitigated if people wear their masks 100% of the time. Living on an island requires us to travel a lot by plane. Dr. Bello tells us properly social distancing on an airplane can be difficult. While most airlines try to block the middle seat, it may not happen all the time. Another area of concern is the restroom, a small enclosed space with high touch surfaces. You don't know what the person who used it before was doing. Um, if they sneezed or coughed, um, you're walking into their enclosed space. According to the CDC, most viruses and other germs do not spread easily on flights because of how air circulates and is filtered on airplanes. But to try to protect yourself, Dr. Bello suggests sitting as far away as you can from other travelers. Wear your mask as much as possible during the entire trip. And don't forget the hand sanitizer. So that if you do have contact with high-touch surfaces, you immediately hand sanitize and not unmasking in the closed environment of the bathroom. The CDC also says to consider how you get to and from the airport as public transportation and ride sharing can increase your chances of being exposed to the virus. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.